Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number six of exercise six point two. The question says A, B, C are the points on O, P, O, Q, and O, R respectively, such that A, B is parallel to P, Q, and A, C is parallel to P, R. You have to show that B, C is parallel to Q, R. In this, a triangle P, Q, R is given to you, and in triangle this. Q O P in this triangle, this A B is given parallel to this P Q, and this A C in triangle P O R in this triangle, this A C is given parallel to this P R, and you have to prove that this B C in triangle O Q R, this B C is parallel to this Q R. So if I draw this triangle. O Q R. Here you have to prove that this line B C is parallel to this Q R. And to prove this, uh, to prove that we have to use the converse of B P T, or you can say theorem six point two. And the theorem states that a line in a triangle, if cuts these two line in equal ratio. Then this line must be parallel to this. Means if I can prove that this line cutting this BC line cutting these two lines in equal ratios, then obviously this will be parallel to this QR according to theorem six point two. So I have to prove that the ratio between this and this is equal to this and this. And for that I'll use. These two given informations. So first of all, in triangle this O P Q O P Q, which is this O Q P, this triangle. It is like this P O, and this is Q, and this is A, and this is B. So if I draw this triangle separately, it look like it look like that. So in this triangle, AB is given parallel to PQ, and if this AB is given parallel to PQ, so according to basic proportionality theorem, it states that a line, if parallel to this third line, it must cut the other two lines in equal ratios. Means the the these two lines. Must be in equal ratios, so I can say that the ratio between OA and AP must be equals to OB and BQ. This is because of basic proportionality theorem, and this is our first equation. Basic proportionality theorem states that a line in a triangle, if if it is drawn parallel to this third line. It must cut the other two lines in equal ratios. So the ratio between this and this must be equal. Similarly, in triangle, this one, P O R, in triangle P O R, this A C is given parallel to P R. So similarly, according to basic proportionality theorem, we can state that the ratio between This line and this line must be equal to this line and this line. So here in triangle POR, AC is given parallel to PR. This is given to you. Now, if these two lines are parallel, so according to basic proportionality theorem, OA upon AP. The ratio between these two lines must be equals to OC upon CR. This is because of basic proportionality theorem, and this is our second equation. Here we are saying that because this AC line is parallel given to this PQ, so obviously in triangle AOC, this line must cut the other two lines in equal ratios. So here. From equation first and from equation second, if I compare these two equations, the left hand side 
left hand side of these equations are equal so obviously the right hand side must also be equal here so comparing comparing equation first and equation second we can conclude that o oh, the ratio between ob and pq must be equals to here this ratio must be equals to this ratio so this must be equals to cr so now we have concluded that the ratio between ob here the ratio between ob and bq this is ratio between ob and bq is equals to ol upon lr uh, sorry oc upon cr so if the ratio between this and this is equal to this and this so according to theorem 6.2 this line must be parallel to this line because here this line is cutting these two line in equal ratios then this must be parallel to this third line so from this we can conclude that bc must be parallel to qr so this is because of theorem 6.2 because the ratios are same so it must be parallel to third line so this is how you can solve this particular question i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the whatsapp number and the email address is given below in the description thank you